in, in your training, it often doesn't come up the, the financial impact that um, the different medications and treatments have. But when you're talking about glaucoma, you're talking about someone who's going to be on treatment for the rest of their life. And these drops are, um, can be very expensive. And it can be very frustrating. You know, some of them have generics, some of them don't. Um, sometimes they go to the pharmacy, they get one generic, and they go to the pharmacy the next month and it's a different one. And sometimes the bottles are um, difficult to squeeze. They get more than one drop or they're, they're, you know, have to put two drops in their eye because they think they missed the first one and they end up running out of drop early. They have to buy a bottle, a second bottle before the month is over. These are the real life issues that patients face day in and day out that I um, that I hear about and it's it's very frustrating to them and it's very frustrating to me that you know they're I'm putting a financial burden on them to basically if they don't use their drops they're putting themselves at risk for losing their vision but by using their drops and having to pay all this money they're having to sacrifice something else um, that they could be putting their money towards um, so it, it's, a, it's a very tough situation and I think it's just a reality of, of of the healthcare system today, and if this fund can do anything to, to help with that, I know we will. Great, Kirsten, that's, that's a good question. Speaking of drops, um, it, who who is the master of how to put drops in? Are you able to, <laughs> to give a quick tutorial? Yes, yeah, so um, the way that I typically tell patients to do is, if they have someone to assist them, that can be easy. If they're just trying to do it themselves, if they're laying down on the bed or the couch, that can be helpful. I have them grab their lower lid and look up. And if they can instill a drop in their um, when they're pulling their lower eyelid down, um, that's great. I often tell people to um, close their eye for a few seconds after they put the drop in. That's going to help keep the drop around the surface of the eye longer. When you're blinking, you're forcing the eye down the tear duct and it's clearing, it's getting into the systemic um, circulation a little faster. So by closing the eye or even putting a little pressure right here at the tear duct. Like can here? Help. Exactly. Show exactly. us again, right in right there. Here. Okay. Right here, right okay. um, here. Holding pressure after you apply your, and still your drops. Um, and if you miss a drop, uh, the sooner you can get the drop in, Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And if you're on international time, <laughs> it's still, as long as you approximate the mm -hmm. schedule, it should be okay? Exactly. So if you're on a, some of our drops are just once a day, you want it to, to be as close as you can to 24 hours apart. So it doesn't necessarily have to be at, if it's, you know, before you go to bed here to before you go to bed there. If you can stay on a 24-hour schedule, um, that's good. If, you know, if you're a few hours late, that's okay. Um, I'd rather you get the drop in if you say you forget, um, and then you remember, you know, right right before you know you went to bed and you wake up. Oh, I forgot my drop. Go ahead and get it in. Um, but um, the easiest thing to do is kind of get into a routine, get into a habit, put your drops by your nightstand or by your um, mm -hmm. toothbrush, and do it um, at that point. Or when you're taking your other medications, if you're doing it morning and evenings, or with meals, a lot of people can associate it with the meals. Oh, it's breakfast time. I need to put in my breakfast drops. Um, so we just have to kind of get it into into the routine to help people remember. And people are using their phones nowadays too, setting alarms on their phones, right, yeah. um, which has been very helpful. And you mentioned uh, brand versus generic. Mm -hmm. uh, did you want to make a point about that? Are generics okay, or should they call the practice and ask? <laughs> um, generics. I, I often start with generics. Um, generics have the same active ingredient. And so um, they can, they are much more affordable and can give you good results. Um, some drops do not have generic formulations yet and you're on brand name. And then there are other times when the generic just may not be working as well because you know each eye is a little bit different. And just because one drop works well for someone doesn't mean it's going to work well for the next patient. And really it's the journey that you go on with that each patient, finding the right combination of drops for them that's important whether that's generic or brand name or a once a day drop or twice a day drop or three time a day drop, really each, each person is gonna be different. And it's my job to figure out, tailor the therapy to that person. 